today's an exciting day in the history of the Press Journal and TC Palm. You know, Press Journal's been around since 1919, its first iteration. And today we're moving into new digs in downtown Vero Beach in the Seminole Building, which has been here in one form or another since 1918. It's kind of interesting that we're sort of back where the Press Journal started, downtown Vero Beach, where everybody used to come to get their news and pick up their, their, their weekly paper in the day. So it's, it's kind of like coming back to its roots. So the old Press Journal on US-1 had been there for decades. But when we opened up a printing press, state-of-the-art printing press in Port St. Lucie, um, that building became just way too big for us. And so we knew we were going to move out. The question was when. And with real estate, the way it's been going up and down, this was a great time. So we moved the news and advertising offices here downtown. And we built a distribution center across from Crestlawn Cemetery on Old Dixie Highway in Vero Beach. I think the move into the building sets us up. Uh, we're right in the middle of downtown. It's an exciting, revitalized downtown. There's a lot going on here. We're a block away from the courthouse, block away from the library, and, and there's so much going on here with uh, the arts, culture, restaurants, things like that. I think downtown's really ready to take off. It's exciting to be in the middle of it. I think one thing this move shows is our company's commitment to serving Vero Beach with the best local news possible. You know, we're, we're coming out instantly on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, and also the only publication that comes out daily that has Indian River County news in it.